The game of baseball has seen many spectacular achievements over its lifetime, from Joe DiMaggio's streak of 56 straight games with a base hit, to Cal Ripken Jr.'s streak of playing 2,632 straight games, these accomplishments are difficult to process. A record that is known by most is Ricky Henderson's 1,406 career steals and 130 steals in the 1982 season. The closest to reach Henderson's career steals in the modern era was Lou Brock stealing 938 bases. Brock is also the closest to Henderson's 130 steals in the modern era, stealing 118 bags. If we aren't counting the modern era, the only player to have more steals in a single season was Hugh Nickel with 138 in 1887. Why am I mentioning stolen base records? Well, as it turns out, one of the most exclusive clubs that not even Henderson is a member of is the 4040 Club. If you aren't familiar with the 4040 Club, it's an elite company of players that combines power with speed. In order to reach the 4040 Club, one player must hit at least 40 home runs and steal 40 bases in a single season. While many players have sniffed the 4040 Club, only four players in history have achieved that milestone. Those four players are Jose Canseco in 1988 with 42 home runs and 40 stolen bases. Barry Bonds in 1996 with 42 home runs and 40 stolen bases. Alex Rodriguez in 1998 with 42 home runs and 46 stolen bases. And Alfonso Soriano in 2006 with 46 home runs and 41 stolen bases. Some honorable mentions that were extremely close are Vladimir Guerrero in 2002 with 39 home runs and 40 stolen bases. Matt Kemp in 2011 with 39 home runs and 40 stolen bases. And even the main focus of this video, Ronald Acuna Jr. in 2019 with 41 home runs and 37 stolen bases. Lesser known clubs such as the 2580 Club have only been accomplished by Henderson and Eric Davis. What hasn't been achieved is the 4050 Club, 4060 Club, and do I dare say the 4070 Club? That's right. We are witnessing the possibility of the first player not only reaching 40 home runs and 50 stolen bases in a season, but 40 home runs and 70 stolen bases. As of July 7th, Acuna Jr. is sitting at 21 home runs and 41 stolen bases. To add a little bit more information with the stolen bases, Acuna Jr. has only been caught stealing seven times. At his current pace, Acuna Jr. is expected to smash 41 homers and steal 76 bags. What's even more impressive is the fact that Acuna Jr. has a 997 OPS and a 165 WRC+. For reference, not only does Acuna Jr. have an opportunity to blow past the 4040 club in the stolen bases department, but also cap off a historic season with a 1000 OPS or better. Going off topic for a moment, this is also happening at the same time as Luis Arise is pushing a 390 average, and Shohei Otani is on pace to surpass Aaron Judge's single season American League home run record while also pitching to a sub-3 ERA. The 2023 season could go down as one of the greatest MLB seasons of all time, and several records could be snapped. Anyways, let's talk about Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 2023 season in general. Outside of homers, stolen bases, OPS, and WRC+, Acuna Jr. is hitting 333 with a 410 OBP, 587 slugging, and a 4.8 F war. Among 78 qualified hitters in the National League, Acuna Jr. is second for average, third for OBP, first for slugging, first for OPS, first for WRC+, and first for F war. Not only would a 40-40 season and beyond solidify his case as NL MVP, but all the rankings mentioned earlier would also speak for themselves. Now that all the main analytics are out of the way, Let's talk about sprint speed and how Acuna Jr. is stealing so many bases. In the leaderboards drop down on StatCast, you can find two running options. The first being sprint speed and the second being 90 feet splits. For now, we're going to dive into the sprint speed option. If we select the minimum opportunities at 100 and keep the year at 2023, 107 total players will be posted. Along with those players are different stats such as competitive runs, bolts, and overall sprint speed. Among those 107 players, 
Acuna Jr. is 9th for competitive runs with 149, 15th for bolts with 11, and 38th for sprint speed, running 28 feet per second, placing him in the 70th percentile. These feats are impressive, but probably not what you were thinking for a player who has a chance to make history. Moving on to 90 foot splits, if we select the minimum opportunities at 10 and again keep the year at 2023, 306 players will appear. Among some of the quickest are Corbin Carroll, Trey Turner, and Mike Trout. So let's see how Acuna Jr. stacks up against them. As you can see from the results, Acuna Jr. finished last while Trout finished third, Turner finished second, and Carroll finished first. So what does all of this mean? Well, for starters, just because you have quickness, that doesn't mean it will translate into stolen bases. For example, Carroll has 26 stolen bases, which is splendid, but not quite 41 stolen bases like Ronald Acuna Jr. possesses. An important element for why Acuna Jr. is so successful stealing bases is because he's more level coming out of the gate. Acuna Jr. has always had an open stance. In years past, he used to come straight up before bolting for a bag. Acuna Jr. also used to glance at the catcher for a longer period of time than most base runners, creating more bang-bang plays at second base. Now, Acuna Jr. is staying much lower out of the gate, creating a more explosive dive and reading pitchers much better. A reason why the Braves are having so much success offensively isn't just because Ronald Acuna Jr. owns an impactful bat, but also his ability to steal so often. When Acuna Jr. gets on base, it creates a distraction for opposing pitchers and catchers to not only make better pitches, but also avoid Acuna Jr. from stealing. Another factor is the increased size of bases, jumping from 15 inches square to 18 inches square. In the first half of the season this year, 1,922 total bags have been stolen. Following up on just the first half of a season, runners stole 1,419 bags in 2022, 1,237 bags in 2021, and 1,272 bags in 2019. Between the larger bases, the pitch clock system, and a max of two step-offs before a pitcher must throw out a runner, these rules have made a positive impact for base runners. In just the first half of the 2023 season, nine players have stolen 20 or more bags. Now, let's take a dive into Acuna Jr.'s splits this season. First is right-handed pitching. Acuna Jr. has stolen 32 bags as opposed to nine bags against left-handed pitching. This isn't groundbreaking material as it's more difficult to steal second base against lefties because they are looking almost directly at the base runner and don't have their back turned against the runner. Not to say some righties don't have clever pickoff moves, but lefties are able to hold the runner better with an easier and faster disengagement off the rubber, which also makes it easier to turn double plays. All in all, Acuna Jr. is taking advantage of the new rules while also improving his raw talent as a base stealer. If Acuna Jr. reaches not just the 40-40 milestone, but 40, 50, and beyond, there's a 100% chance he is winning NL MVP. Players like Corbin Carroll and Mookie Betts are performing extremely well this year, but Acuna Jr. is taking the game to another level that no one has ever seen before. With that being said, thank you to everyone for watching this breakdown on Acuna Jr. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so and click the bell so you never miss a video that I post. Last but not least, smash that like button, Comment down below on your thoughts, and I will see y'all later.